news from the region, and from around the state, it's Florida Focus. Good evening. Welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Wolf Hurd. Tampa Bay Bucks fans are in shock today after the team cut fan favorites Derrick Brooks and Warwick Dunn along with three others. According to PeterReport.com, the team is trying to get younger and had to cut some team leaders to do so. In other news, Pinellas County residents may not be seeing rescue units when they call 911 in the future. According to TampaBay.com, the county is looking to prioritize its 911 medical calls based on urgency. Officials say this could save close to $6.8 million. Even with stimulus money on its way, budget cuts will take a bite out of the Pinellas County School District. Amber Nissen has more from the newsroom. To prepare for cuts, Pinellas County created an online survey for the community to make suggestions for the school budget. According to TampaBay.com, here are some ideas they have received. Switch to a four-day school week, combine bus routes, and eliminate school-based sports programs. None of these ideas are set in stone, but district officials do plan on reading all 17,000 proposed ideas. In the newsroom, I'm Amber Nissen. Back to you, Wolf. Thanks, Amber. Researchers at the University of South Florida have developed a brain-controlled robotic arm. Crystal Messenger has the story. The brain-computer interface system captures brain waves and converts them into actions, which are then carried out by the robotic arm. So people with locked-in syndrome uh, that have total motor uh, disability, but they have a functioning brain. Uh, we can uh, have them use the robotic arm without moving a muscle. A series of letters flash on the screen. Each letter correlates to a specific movement. The user concentrates on the option they desire. Once the signal is detected, the system moves the robotic arm. For Florida Focus, I'm Crystal Messenger. And finally, a Sarasota teen is driving across the country fueled with vegetable oil. Colin Kuhn converted a 1980 Mercedes station wagon into a green machine. According to the HeraldTribune.com, the local teen is set to hit the road on Saturday. Thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow.